guys, good morning and welcome to today. Today is the last day of the year. Shh, girls are still sleeping because, oh my heck, we stayed up to 1 a.m. Man, our barn is getting messy. Sam and I have been watching the show, The Network, I think it is, on Apple TV Plus. Oh man, it's so good. So we wanted to finish watching the last episode of the season last night. We stayed up till one. We, oh, did I just step on the cat? I'm sorry, Hendrix. Happy New Year. <laughs> Anyways, so we did. We stayed up. Hi. Hi, ponies. It's been so long since I've done chores, I don't know what I'm supposed to do first. So let's start with who's ever on top. So blue, I don't even know who blue is. Sam messes up all of our colors. What the heck? So I know pink is this girl. Wait a minute, oh my gosh. Oh no. I don't have my phone down here and I have no idea what sh what, which is which of this? Like, I think I can probably figure it out. I'm so annoyed because the, the pony gets special supplements and I can't tell. There you go, pretty girl. Did you guys see? She stands back. Cause, whoops. She's such a polite pony. Okay, I think this one maybe is Willow's. Is my guess. The, the grain is not even done correctly. I like I can't even figure this out. I'm so upset by that. Like the reason that we have There you go, sweet girl. The reason we have colors is so that people know who gets what. I don't know. Today's a wing it day. Here's the thing I know about complaining though. Look, she doesn't even try and come out of her stall. Well, back it up. Get back. Good girl. Girl. The thing about complaining is that if you don't do it yourself, then you can't complain. And this barn is not looking the way that I would normally do it. So I can't complain because Sam does it when I'm sleeping in, <laughs> when he's home. So I'm not going to complain. But the food thing needs to get fixed out up because I cannot. How the heck do you know what who gets what if it's not even done right? Standing here, it all feels the same. I swear, don't know what it means. I can't bear tears are falling from the sky, but I'm not worried. I know I will end up dry.
terrifying. <laughs> so you guys know when I was so brave yesterday and I was like, oh, I will tell her who's the boss. Yeah, it was scary as heck. So basically she wanted to go out because her ponies were out. And I was like, no, you're not going out until I put the halter on. And she's like, you're not putting the halter on. And I was like, yeah, I'm putting the halter on, but I'm not putting it on until you put your head down and be nice. And she tried to push past me. And I told her no. I don't know if you guys heard me. It took a few minutes for me to get her. And finally she was like, she's so smart. Finally she's like, ah, fine. She put her head down. Let me put the halter on her. And then I, every single time I walk that horse, I... Make her stop, walk, stop, walk, pay attention to me, listen to me. I don't know if that's right, but man, I'm like so serious about this. Like, she's a baby. And I can already hear the comments now. You're gonna ruin her! But no, we are not gonna ruin her, you guys. Because I learned a lot. It's been a year since we've had horses at home. It's been almost, has it been almost three years since we had a horse? We had Storm. Two years this spring. Yeah, it's been almost three years since we've like leased a horse or owned a horse or been responsible for a horse. Almost three years. We've learned the most in the last year, obviously. Whew. But I did it. I did it myself. And I'm really proud of me, you guys. I'm really uh, proud of me because it was scary having this big, huge baby. She's so good. I can't get over it. I just keep saying to Fiona, she's nothing like I thought she was gonna be and she is a bit pushy but only like she's so polite she's like okay I'm I'm gonna do it and I say no and she says well I'm gonna do it and I say no and she's like okay I'm so sorry like somebody said that her and Sam seem to be really bonding I really believe it in my heart that they're the same person they're the same spirit like they have the same quiet calm just looking taking everything in wow how empowering to be able to like do that on my own though it's so different now because Stella's not here and the boys aren't here. But I did it and it worked out really well. I'm so proud of me. Two of our buckets broke, which is why they changed up the buckets. They split. These, this material doesn't normally split. I think um, Storms got left in the field and he gets stepped on. And I think this yellow one must have got stepped on too. That's the only reason it would break. I'm going to take our buckets up and wash them today. It's so hard when it's winter and you don't have hot water in the barn and... You're trying to keep things clean because horses are not clean. But I do like these buckets because you can see when they're dirty. And I'm going to buy new ones. But for now, we have three ponies here. And these are going to be the colors we're going to have to use. crazy just happened. This is a true testament to Skye's personality. I was standing here petting her at the wall. Hendrix was standing beside me and before you know it, he jumped over onto her back and she was kind of freaked out. So she did what any self-respecting mare would do. She, she stopped, stood still and looked behind her, saw that it was a cat and now he's having to ride on her. What the heck? I need to get a good picture of this. Both of Fiona's animals. It's like she does not know what to do. And he doesn't know what to do. He's like, I did not expect this wall to walk away. How am I going to get down? She's looking like, what is on me? Aw, Sky, you're such a good girl. See her? That's what she's like, you guys. You're headed to the barn with riding lessons with Brandon. It is raining and kind of yucky. We're stopped at Kaylee's barn, our old barn, to get her riding stuff because she's going to have lessons too. Like, I love it. Having barn friends is the best. Oh, you can't see them. <laughs> they just ran by. I could hear screaming and I thought one of the horses were hurt. But really, it was the cows mooing. There's the boy. Hello. Hello. Oh my gosh, what happened to your nose? 
<laughs> Hello! Finn! <laughs> what really happened to your nose? Hello. Come here all dirty. Hi, handsome. Hello. I feel bad because we weren't able to come yesterday because of the freezing rain. It's raining again right now, but it's not freezing. It's mild out. But I feel bad, even worse, because our horses are not pooping much. Oh, she cleaned the stalls. I also feel bad, though, because when the girls ride with Brandon, Gabby rides another horse. Because that, that's the time that she works on her when she rides Finn. She's working on him, mostly. So I like that she gets an opportunity to ride another horse and ride, you know, and work on her. But it means that our horses aren't getting worked. But they do get worked. It's just Christmas time, you guys. Hi. Oh, hi. I miss you. I miss you so much. Johnny. Why? Where is he? It's pouring snow now. Like I hope I can get home. She's gonna make me go help her. Get the other horse. All right, you guys. Let's do it. What a mother has to do. I forgot my headband. So I'll be like this. Not him? Yeah, no, that's not him. Oh, <laughs> we have to go back out. <laughs> it's a blizzard. We started walking over to the other barn. And then suddenly it's just like it all blew down my shirt. So now I have frozen boobs, you guys. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's him or not. That's him. Why is it different blanket then? Oh. Oh, it's him. No, she's not. It's baby. Oh. Baby. Oh. So what are we gonna do? Oh, who's that? Oh, is that? Oh, that's Sully. He's a baby. Oh, uh, hi, Sully. You're a cute baby. Where's Johnny? He's out with the kids. So. Oh, we... that's Tony. Aww. I lost the nail, but that's okay because I was running. Yeah, we lost the nail because we were running. Like... No, I was walking. Oh, all right. Here we go. But I don't need them for this guy. Go. Storm needs a new. We'll put warmer blankets on them. Storm needs a new blanket. I need to go get that. No nail. Hey, <gasps> no. Yeah, don't let that happen. Hi. Lily, Johnny. Oh my gosh, they're freaking out. Oh gosh. They're like pretty feisty. They've been in the stall for a day. Storm, you're fat. Oh, he wants to. I feel bad for him. Holy heck. Come, Storm. Jeez oh, Louise. I can't stand that. They just got energy. Energy to spare. Finn needs to roll. Let him roll. Don't crash. Don't go crazy. Hi, Storm. He sees me in here. Johnny. What? Don't run around, Johnny. <laughs> Storm's like, look at how handsome. Do not run me over. What? Gabby, yeah, get working. Well, I'm watching these horses. Hello. We just wanted you guys to get out and get some exercise. Don't He's be like, snotty. Yes, Finn wants to. Oh dear. Finn wants to roll and storm. Wants to. Oh, come on! And don't run me over. Are you crazy? He's like somebody's there. <laughs> he loves you. Oh man, I do not love this. But I mean, it has to happen. I want them to just burn off some energy. Go, kitty. You could die in this arena. Yeah, he run. That's that's the kind of horse Storm Finn is. He ran at me at a full speed. Bucking. Bucking, and I'm sitting here. Oh God! Stop it! Ooh. Jesus! <laughs> Come out there and you, Sophie. Move over. Us, Finn. We're not Hi. gonna save you. Hi. you Come know on, you get me. your horse ready right now. Go get your horse ready. 
Okay, calm yourselves now. You guys, I know that this is normal. I just don't like it. I'm a quiet, calm girl. Yeah, just joking, I'm not. <laughs> Ooh, they can hear the cow. You're okay, it's all good. That dream that I had about Stella really showed me how much your horses look to you as a leader and how much you make a difference in their life. Chill, buddy, chill. Good boy. I don't know how he got a dirty nose. Oh, hello, yeah, yeah. He's got dirt patches. I'm really grateful that they get to stay in though. Even though they probably don't love it, I'm grateful. Can I get you? You wanna go sit in there? No, you go sit in there. Yeah. <gasps> Scary. Just wait until. All this wants to do is roll. I know. Uh, be kind and be gentle. Yes. Handsome like man. Pick me. Did you guys think we forgot about you? It was a blizzard. I mean, it was an ice storm. Oh, they were doing with He's like, wait, I smell another horse on you. Is it true? Did you replace me? He doesn't even know if Stella's gone. You be good, Stormy. Be good boy. Yeah, Finn didn't believe me when I said Stella's dead. You told him? There's a cow out there just screaming. It's good for them to get out there and to run and to have energy exercise even though the weather's bad. In the wild they would probably still they'd probably be hunkered down someplace. I saw all the horses out there that are outside and they're all like shivered shivering in front of like some shelter trying to get out of the the snow. Hopefully we get home though because I'm not a good snow driver. I think a part of the problem is that I'm a, a cautious person. I have never in my life been in a situation where I put myself with raging horses, like running raging horses. That's not me. I never ever do that. And here I sit on this little chair Mom, with raging horses. Like I'm sure I'm so mad at me. horses are so far out of my comfort zone. I've just learned to love them so much that I put myself at risk and that's why I've gotten hurt for the first time in my life. Storm got mad at me because I didn't go um, to him first in the stall. Yeah, we need to start changing that up. Like Finn that really needs to bond with Gabby to get them where they need to go. And he's really bonded with Sophie, so it's hard. He's like, I know it's in that bag. It's empty grain bags. Do not, do not take it. Do not take it. Do not touch my purse. This is why I smell like horse, everybody. This is why I, I stink all the time. Our horses think that they can just touch all my stuff. I know. He's looking for this thing. Oh my gosh, don't give him candy. He's going to be stuck in a stall. Where you're going to be happy to be. Trust me, it's yucky outside. Brandon's going to be a little late. You can't give one horse one and not the other. Now Storm, oh, like, so they're over top of me. See, this is the problem. When you make your horses like people and like you, they're like standing on... Look at my leg. Oh, dirty boys. Oh, you dirty boys. Don't you do that. I was calling Finn from in there, but he never answered. This might be a common sight if you live in a cold climate. What are these girls doing? Don't talk about it. Don't say it. What are these I girls doing? Candy what are Gabby and Kaylee doing? Matching. Okay, but, okay, stand over there because the light is. Yes, same. <laughs> so. Here. I'm cold. I'm my jacket on. So they are twinning again. Do a good pose. Do a good pose. Okay. Same. Oh, same. Okay, get in there and. Oh, and... that hurts. Hey, hey, hey. Don't that hurt. That was vicious. I was vicious. I was like this, and you're just like. <laughs> <laughs> you just don't say anything. No, politely. You, you, touch get, you just touch Gabby, like. And she's like. <laughs> Gabby. Okay, for real though, stand side by side so you can get a picture a of you guys baby. twinning. Oh. Sophie, watch out. It's just Sophia, you're not in the twinning. Wait, Wait a minute, you have different color breeches on. Yeah, because guys want to wear her pants. No, I could find my pants. Oh. Right in here. Let me see you jump it. Jump it, jump it. Want her like that so you can put it in half and just warm it up like that? Johnny's fit. When it is warm, it's like this. Oh, that's a storm. Ooh. Ugh. 
<laughs> That's what Fiona does. Go jump that after. Gabby, let me see you jump it, big Mrs. Long Legs. Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys before we go home. This is what happens before riding. They're all cuffed up. Then after an exhausting ride with Brandon, it's the quietest ride. <laughs> no smiles. They're like, like, are you guys okay? We need food. I want KFC. No, they're hungry. Yeah, yeah. Gabby doesn't admit it or talk about it or say it. She's. We just all know. Kaylee came running out. Gabby needs food. <laughs> She's so quiet. Like, guys, after Christmas, there's not gonna be any sugar in our in our life ever again because. Man, let me tell you, my kids come down so fast.